Hi, I'm Victoria Arpels. Welcome back to some of our videos. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the holographic powders and the chrome powders that are really, really popular. You know, within the last sort of six to eight months in the industry, they've really boomed. Everybody's talking about them. Um, but there has been a few issues with them not lasting, etc. So I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you how I use it and the best way in which I find that it lasts. So today I'm going to be using the Edge products. Um, I find their products really, really good, um, really affordable, but they last really well and my clients absolutely love them. So I just want to go through the step-by-step -step process of using firstly the um, holo holographic mirror powder, just so you can see how um, I use it and how I get the best results really. So I'm going to be working with um, a plastic tip just for demo reasons, but prep your nails exactly the same as you would normally before your gel polish, removing all the surface shine, pushing back the cuticles, etc. Today, I've just white blocked this plastic tip just purely to take the shine off it. Um, and then I can go on and apply my base coat. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna use the edge um, base. Now I find you get the best results if you use the same gels as brand of gels as the same brand of chrome powders or holographic powders purely because they're designed to work together so you don't get any lifting cracking or it coming away at the ends i'm not saying that it doesn't work for any brands but i would recommend you stick with the same brands um, just to prevent any of those problems really so what i'm going to do first of all is just put my base gel on so obviously being on a plastic tip you might have to just put a little bit more on than you normally would so I'm just going to pop it on, making sure you cap the ends of the nails and the free edge. So exactly the same as your normal gel application. Pop that away. We're going to be working with our LED lamp. So it's going to go under your LED. Now the Edge recommend that you put their products under for 60 seconds. However, depends on what brand you're working with. It may vary anything from sort of 35, 45, 60. So just double check whatever brand you're going to be working with um, and make sure you cure it for that full time. And then the next stage is I'm going to put on a colour. So you apply your base, two layers of colour. Now I like the um, the holographic mirror powder. It works really well with like quite a bright colour underneath or even something like a black works really well. And the idea um, with the holographic is that it really shimmers in the sun. Um, so coming up to sort of spring, summertime, this is the perfect one to use on not just the hands, but the feet as well. It looks really pretty if your client's going on holiday, even if they just want it, you know, on their big toes. They don't have to have it on all of their, their nails. So I'm just putting on my first layer. And again, being a plastic tip, you might need to just apply a little bit more than normal. Make sure you seal and cap around the side walls again. Pop your first one on and again, pop it under your LED lamp as you did before and then as I said we'll do another layer and then we'll do our holographic powder so the holographic powder is applied a little bit different to your chrome powders so just carefully watch the step by steps that I'm doing when when I've done my second layer I'm just going to take a clean pad and I'm literally just going to take away the tacky residue off the top of the surface of the nail I'm not going to use any gel wipe off or remove or anything like that it's just purely just to take some of that tackiness away um, but still allow for the chrome powder to stick to it so just make sure you note that down when you're working through but again check whatever brand you're working with because it could vary so I'm just going to do my second one now so if at any point you've got any questions anything you've come across or any problems or anything you particularly like to um, work with or any designs that you've tried comment below and I will always come back to you and you know just let us know if you want to post any of your pictures that you've done it'd be great to see your work so I'm just put on my second layer so I've got a nice coverage over that nail and again I'm just going to pop it on and then remembering when this one then comes out dry pad take away some of the tacky residue now sometimes on a plastic tip when you take off this the tacky residue you might get a little bit come off on your pad that's fine don't panic so i wouldn't rub it i would just literally blot it just to take off that tackiness 
Um, but your tips work really well for displaying your chrome powders, your holographic powders, obviously your nail art and things as well. And clients really like to see this, see what they're going to be getting. So I always try and um, just display it for them. So I'm just going to literally just take off that tacky layer. Pop it down so you can see just a little bit comes off, but don't panic. Then I'm going to take my applicator. Now, your applicator is really just like an eyeshadow brush. Um, so if you did run out of these, you could just use some disposable eyeshadow brush brushes. Some people like to use sort of more of a, a eyeshadow, like a, a small blusher brush. That, that would work as well. But it's personal preference. It really doesn't matter. So what you're going to do is you're going to literally just rub it onto the nail. Now, when you rub it on, you have to be quite firm. And don't panic. When you first put it on, you might think, oh, gosh, it's going a bit um, patchy. Really don't panic, honestly. Just keep working it into the nail. So you're almost sort of buffing it into the nail. And that's why these applicators are really quite good because they've got that flat head on them. Come right the way around the sides. Now, I find if I do two layers, I get a much better coverage. And again, that's what the edge recommend. Um, so just come round the side. So I do my first layer. Now, if you look closely, you'll see on your first layer that it can look just a little bit um, patchy in some places. So again, that's why you need to do that second layer. So I'm just going to take a little bit more. So just again, work it over. This really does look super pretty for the spring summertime coming up like on your big toenail and on your thumb and your ring finger. It looks really stunning, especially with like a pink underneath it. So give it a go. Try it. Let me know what you think. Again, if you've got any feedback or any comments, you can always let us know. We're more than happy to help and, and look at any suggestions and ideas you've got. So I'm just sealing it round the free edge and the side walls of the nail. So as you can see now, it's got a much better coverage. So what I'll now do is I'm then just going to uh, top coat that. Now it needs to be a top coat that has um, is a non wipe off top coat. OK, because if you have to then wipe it off, you might find you pull some of it, um, some of the uh, powder away from it. So all I'm going to do now is just literally brush over. Now I've found from experience sometimes I like to do two layers of this. So I'll pop it on cure and then do a second layer. Sometimes one is enough. So it's just a bit of a guideline there for you. If you're having a problem with the powder coming away, then you can do two. But make sure you seal right around the side walls. And especially if she's got quite a short nail, it can be hard to seal the free edge and cap it. But you really must make sure you do the best that you can because that's the bit that it'll come away from. And sometimes the client might then phone and say, oh, the chrome powder or the holographic powder has just come away at the edge. So just seal it, cap it and place it under. So I'm just going to place that under my lamp now for 60 seconds. Make sure obviously the client's hand is straight underneath. But once again, you'll see when it comes out, it just gives that really pretty shimmer. And in the sun, hopefully we'll get a little bit of sun this summer it works really, really well. So a really, really popular one and something I would definitely recommend in, um, trying. When it comes out, remember it's a non-wipe off top coat. So we just literally oil a little bit of hand cream if you were working on a client to finish. So when I pull this out now, if you look really closely, you've got that nice shimmer, really glossy finish. It's sealed all around the side walls and then I would just oil and finish. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, you've been with Victoria Arpels and I look forward to seeing you again for some future videos.